Good morning, America. I'm Mike Morini, your favorite presidential candidate for the 2024 race, running as a write-in and an independent. I'm going to talk about President Trump, former President Trump, being convicted of a felony. Now, it's a Class E felony, uh, and regardless of how many charges were presented, it's my understanding this type of felony, the maximum amount of time he's looking at is four years, which would still be unheard of. Um, and then, of course, that's assuming he loses all of the upcoming appeals and the litigation process behind it and everything that's going to occur. I'm sure this is not the end of it just because the the um, jury brought in a guilty verdict. This is by no means the end of it. So but what this does actually mean is that we're going to have, on the one hand, a convicted felon running for president against an Alzheimer's patient that's destroying the country. <laughs> now, you look through my channel, you can see my thought spot, who I believe is actually running the country. I don't believe that Mr. Biden actually is. I think it's a more of a committee of his staff and largely his, uh, his wife that's running the country. But I've already uh, talked about this ad nauseum. So what's the best case scenario going forward ahead? Well, I, I have no illusions about my presidential campaign here. I... Uh, you know, I don't actually expect to win. Snowball's chance in hell and all that. Uh, best case scenario, the guy can dream, right? Um, the GOP comes and says, hey, Mr. Marini, with your 300-something subscribers here, we feel that you are the ideal candidate for us to get behind, and we're going to back you up. And I go from being an independent right into a Republican. I would absolutely love to help. I, hell, I think I, at this point I would take the, uh, the Libertarian Party, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, they don't really seem that bad. They just kind of seem like there's a lot of stigma around their name. Um, and I've talked about as well, some of the candidates they've put forward over the years. Um, uh, kind of the problem with this country, really. So, yeah, th despite what people might be celebrating in the streets, as it were, in the more democratic cities, I, I don't think that this is actually going to hurt Donald Trump. Um, and as I, I think I said a minute ago, he's not looking at any serious jail time. Um, so this isn't really a victory. And what I'm seeing on social media, it does kind of look like it's more of a victory for Mr. Trump than for the DNC at large. Now, is the GOP going to actually back Trump now that he's a convicted felon? I don't know. I don't know what the party leadership's going to do. I kind of feel like they will because of the outpouring of support that he's gotten. Um, it's my understanding that the Trump campaign website has crashed several times with people now donating so often. Um, but of course, being an old PSYOP guy, I also understand that this could be just more smoke and mirrors because, hey, it's politics. And apart from myself, everyone else is using that. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, and share. I hope this video finds you well. God bless America. Um, I'm gonna go be. I'm gonna actually do a little bit of traveling here shortly. Um, so, yeah, not, not that my videos have been that that consistent lately, um, but I'm gonna see if I can get some get to know some of the country a little bit. So, God bless America. Like, subscribe, and share. Marini 2024.